Well, believe it or not, there is a manufacturer in Winnipeg making high-end slingshots. Mm -hmm. And in this week's Manitoba Moments, Chris finds a Winnipegger making them from scratch at Ascent Works, a unique facility in the Exchange District. What happens when you combine a man who loves to work with his hands, is incredibly creative, and enjoys target shooting? You get a top-notch slingshot maker. This entire adventure has been sourced from the internet, uh, and there are hundreds and thousands of people making slingshots. Slingshots is a super global um, sport, and uh, it's a leisure sport. There's no governing body or anything like that, but um, a lot of people make really high-end stuff. Really, people make natural materials, and it's just anything from a piece of aluminum to a chunk of plywood, you know, and then I wanted to do something that was essentially mine, and I want to have my signature on it, so I kind of went about developing my own style and, uh, and technique. With the quality of Eric's work, it's easy to see why something he started doing for fun is turning into a business. Like all things I, I do, it's kind of, it started off as a hobby, uh, and then I got better at it, and more people wanted to have things, and so I decided to start selling them. The premise behind a slingshot is simple. However, making one from scratch is no easy task, and depending on the design, can take between two and eight hours to complete. When I start, I usually pick uh, some kind of wood um, that uh, is not planed like this. This is nicely planed. I resaw it on a bandsaw and then stick it through a planer. Uh, so they're about a quarter inch thick. Um, and then, depending on what kind of wood it is, I try and put it into the laser cutter where I digitally design things and edit them. Um, so this is what this looks like. This is where all the cutouts are. Um, so this is half a slingshot. So because this is the material, um, I had to put half a slingshot in each one and then combine them in the end. So this is kind of the 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 spread of how uh, it gets laminated. Uh, inside here is a, a plywood core, and then I have paduk on the inside, and then cherry on the outside. So this all gets glued together. After that, it's over to the laser printer to add some flair. What I'm doing is uh, I'm etching some graphics on top of a slingshot. Um, it's just to brand it and like make it more unique, because not often uh, that happens. A lot of people sign their stuff, a lot of people have stickers or whatnot, but I really wanted to laser etch things because I can get the repeatability. So uh, what, what's going to happen here is that the laser is going to pass over uh, like a laser printer uh, in layers, and uh, it's just going to etch a graphic on that. Then it's time to bear down and complete the most tedious tasks. I take it to the router and then selected faces and edges are, are routed to quarter inch or eighth inch or however I want it. Um, I'll clean up the holes and then cut the bandsaw, cut the, the slot for the tubes and stuff like that. And then basically after that, it's a lot of sanding. After that, it gets uh, coated with a whole bunch of coats of acrylic uh, and then gets buffed to this nice little shine here. And of course, you have to add the final piece. This is specially formulated elastic from China. Uh, it's, it's, slingshots are really, really popular over there. Now all we have to do is find some place to use it. Some people use it for competitions. There's a lot of people that just kind of relax, want to have a beer, kick back on a Sunday afternoon and shoot some cans as they, as they finish them. Hmm, this sounds like a hobby I might enjoy. To check out Eric's work, visit MetroGradeGoods.com.